Hi everyone, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender and today I'm showing you how to make a you and me. So this is an original cocktail of mine. This is actually the first original that I've shared on the channel. I thought I'd share with you the thought process uh, behind what I've actually done. Um, but this was actually a challenge laid down by the educated barfly. What's up, Steve? I am so glad that we are finally getting to do this collaboration. Marius and I have been putting our heads together trying to figure out what would be the best collaboration since we are not able to travel to Australia now, but we really wanted to do this. So we thought that maybe a friendly cocktail challenge would be in order. This is what we'd like to do. We'd like to challenge you with an ingredient and then you go and make a cocktail, whatever you want, interpret the ingredient however you want in whatever amount you want, as long as the cocktail contains the ingredient and then make a video out of it. And then I will, I will go out and obtain this ingredient and make the cocktail as well. And we can all just enjoy it with you. So the cocktail ingredient that I am challenging you with in this video is umeshu, Japanese plum wine. Uh, I think that's a pretty good ingredient. It's probably uh, gonna be available in Australia, I would think, given your proximity to Japan. I'm sure that you can get it. And uh, I'm really, really excited to see what you're gonna do with it. I actually bought the bottle straight away and they've been sitting there ever since. And I've just been, um, I can't even say I've been too busy. I've just been distracted with other things and I apologize. But I ended up buying two different types of umeshu. Uh, I've got this uh, Tsuri Umi. Um, I think that's what it's called. Nogori Umeshu. Uh, Nogori means cloudy. So the reason it's called cloudy uh, umeshu is because it's got the, um, the Umi fruit macerated in here. Uh, it's, it's only 10%, uh, but it's actually quite acidic. Uh, bit of a sugar content to it. But I mean, you can see from there, it is quite cloudy. There's a lot of texture to that um, Umeshu as well. And then the second bottle I've got, which I am not gonna utilize in the video today, but I thought I'd show you and run, run through a bit of a tasting, is the Suntory Umeshu, uh, which has spent some time in some ex Yamazaki barrels, uh, which are toasted barrels. So they do have a bit of an influence of the, the oak. It does have some um, toasty vanilla oak kind of notes to it, but I hadn't tried this before, so until today. Um, so all the notes that I took and the ideas that I'd, I'd brainstormed were based off me not actually trying the Mishu before. And once I tried it, once I've experimented with it, it just wasn't fitting with my ideas. Uh, so I'll be playing with the uh, this one here first. But just to run you through a little bit of a tasting first, I thought you guys might find it useful. I'd never used a Mishu myself. If you guys have, let me know in the comments below. So only 10%, tastes more like a liqueur. Uh, it does have quite a bit of a sugar content. I'm assuming some of that's from the maceration as well. Um, you can see how incredibly cloudy the um, issue is. Uh, it's got it's still got a lot of that fruit in there. Bit of acidity, it's, it's actually quite nice. And then this one, you can tell that it spent some time on some oak. but it's a lot more acidity. Uh, it doesn't have the that sugar component of this one to kind of balance it out a little bit. So it's quite sour. So to start with the thought process behind making this cocktail, um, I knew it was a plum, Japanese plum liqueur. So therefore I worked out all the flavors that work with plum, uh, almonds, hazelnut, uh, other stone fruit, bourbon, uh, so other whiskies as well and I'll, I'll leave a list of flavors that I ha had taken note of that I thought would work really well uh, I'll leave you all my notes in the description below. I wanted to work with a little bit of spice to length it out in the mouth um, Originally I was thinking maybe black pepper uh, cinnamon uh, One stage one of my iterations. I even tried um, an absinthe spray, but I think I was trying to get too complex with the drink. I was trying to put too many different flavors uh, and then I kind of simplified it and I think this actually worked out quite well. So let's get started on with drink and measure out 30 mil, one ounce of rye whiskey. Probably an overproof would work quite well as well. Uh, this is sitting at 45%. Originally I did try it with a, uh, a bourbon whiskey, it was 
40% maker's mark and it just ha didn't have the guts um, to stand up to the, the acidity um, and the, the sweetness of this plum liqueur. So I've got 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce of the Umishu, 15 mil, half an ounce of fresh lemon juice. And then I originally started with a cinnamon syrup and last minute I decided to throw in uh, one of these little plums that I have. So for that syrup, there's one plum uh, and a touch of nutmeg, but it's pretty much a cinnamon syrup. So if you did want to recreate this at home and um, simplify it, you could just make a cinnamon syrup. So 15 mil, half an ounce. I actually thought this would add a nice color to the, the finished drink as well. And then a dash of black walnut bitters. And half an egg white. Of course, I've got half an egg white there, so start by dry shaking. Add some ice to the shaker and give it a wet shake. So into a, a chilled glass. Straight into the glass and for garnish, I was thinking of like a little slice of this, uh, one of these little plums, but it just wasn't working. It didn't look that great to be honest. Um, and then I thought I'd complement the, the walnut bitters with a walnut floated on top. And actually, uh, once you get to the bottom of the drink, you eat that walnut, you've still got that acidity, that sourness in your mouth, um, and it plays quite well. It does have a, a really nice color, kind of a peachy apricot kind of color, or a light plum. I think I'm a little bit biased, but I think that's a delicious drink. It, it works really well. Um, and the, the main thing that I wanted to do was make sure that this particular Umishu was the star of the show. You get those strong plum flavors coming through, a little bit of spice from the, uh, the cinnamon syrup and as well as the whiskey. But I could, I could drink a lot of these. In fact, I already have today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.